The reason why Facebook and Google and Tesla are so big is thanks to the network effect and that's exactly what we'll be talking about in today's video. Like this is something that's super important and all business owners should know and should understand. Let's get right into the video. Network effects. Now before we get to today's video, all I ask is for you to simply hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I put a lot of effort into giving you guys the best content possible without selling you guys anything, just straight up value. And all I ask is for a simple subscribe. So let's jump right into today's video. What is the network effect? The network effect is a phenomenon. 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 All right. Phenom. The network effect is a phenomenon where increased numbers of people or participants improve the value of a good or service. So the internet is an example of the network effect. Initially, there were only a few users on the internet since it was of little value to anyone outside the military or some research scientists. However, as users gained access to the internet, they produced more content, more information and more services. The development and improvement of websites attracted more users to connect and do business with each other. As the internet experience increased traffic, it offered more value leading to a network effect. The network effect is a phenomenon where phenomenon is a phenomenon phenomenon oh my god the network effect is a phenomenon where increased numbers of people or participants improve the value of a good or service for example e-commerce sites such as etsy and ebay grew in popularity by accessing online networks attracting consumers to their products so as more people listed things on eBay, more people bought from eBay, and when more people bought from eBay, more people listed things on eBay. That's how it sort of has that flywheel effect that I've talked about in previous videos, like this one. On the other hand, congestion is a negative network effect, whereby too many users can slow a network down, reducing its utility and frustrating network members. Now, network externalities. Network externalities is an economics term that describes how the demand for a product is dependent on the demand of others buying that product. In other words, the buying patterns of consumers are influenced by others purchasing a product. For example, you see a lot of cars in a restaurant parking lot, you might assume the restaurant has good food. As a result, you give it a try since all these people can't be wrong. Trends in fashion also influence the buying patterns of consumers. Clothes routinely go in and out of style based primarily on copycat buying and selling patterns of consumers. A famous person wears it, a lot of people buys it, a lot of people then wear it, then when a lot of people wear it, more and more people want to go ahead and buy it and they want to fit into the trend and creates this crazy network effect that has been externally happened. Positive network externalities can lead to a network effect. If you have a lot of friends on Facebook, you might join hoping to connect with them, which is a positive externality. If after you join, you post quality content, that leads to many people enjoying the experience, it boosts the engagement creating a network effect. So for example, with my program, what I can do is I can post testimonials, I'll share those testimonials, and when people see those testimonials, and they see it's someone they know, they would then wanna join the program and make a change for their life as well. So that's sort of an externality of network effects where I can sort of share testimonial stories and have people just join because they see how many people are being impacted and how good the results are. Next is congestion. So if too many people use a good or service, congestion can occur. Congestion is a negative network effect. For the internet example, too many users on the same network service can slow the speed of the network, decreasing the benefit for users. Providers of goods and services that use a network effect must ensure that capacity can be increased sufficiently to accommodate all users. Next, the cost benefit analysis of joining a network. Joining a network has a cost. In some cases, to join a network, a user must buy hardware such as telephone. From the consumer perspective, apps are free. Uber is free for those who have already have a smartphone. In other cases, the cost is more direct. An Uber driver pays a fee to Uber for the service rendered through the app. For example, uh, my course. The hard cost is having a computer and having internet. But since majority of people already have those two things, it's seen as free because it's a digital product. Now, when a platform obtains a critical mass of users, the cost of joining the platform is outweighed by the value of joining, with most of the value being derived from the power of the network. For example, 
the cost to join the program is far outweighed by the amount of results we give, the amount of students within the program, within the Skype private group chat where there's so many people in there giving feedback to everyone else. The amount people pay is way less than the amount of value we provide and the more people will join as a result and when more people join, the value gets stacked. Example, Uber drivers will have access to more passengers making the transaction fees worth the cost. Tips, you wanna start with a niche. Also noteworthy is the fact that many of the most successful platforms began with a niche focus on a particular demographic. For example, YouTube primarily began as a music video platform that enabled aspiring musicians to post videos and embed it into MySpace. Facebook started with a single university then extended to neighboring universities and spread from schools to schools before expanding beyond sort of colleges. If Facebook started with a mission to attract everyone to their platform, their message and positioning would have been muddled and they would have most likely failed. In contrast, a platform grows not by buying more assets, but by acquiring more users, which has a near zero cost. For example, when Uber wants to add more cars to the platform, it just needs to attract new drivers to its network not buy more cars. This costs the platforms next to nothing. On the flip side, in terms of distributions, the cost of serving one additional customer is also next to nothing. Returning to the example of Uber, all Uber needs to do is distribute ride-sharing services to riders and all they need to provide to riders is a copy of the app, which literally is no cost. So the word copy is a key to understanding a platform's near zero marginal cost distribution. An app might cost $500,000 to develop. However, every copy of that app thereafter costs next to nothing to produce and distribute. Uber made some investments in developing Uber and today continues to improve the app through developers to advance the user experience. But development costs is spread across its millions of users. And that's exactly why all these companies like Facebook and Uber are so powerful. And that's exactly why Learn Ecom is so powerful. Let me show you guys an example. As you can see, in the group right now, we have over 100 members and everyone is so active. Look, every single day, there's a bunch of messages back and forth and everyone's helping each other out. Showing that the more people that join the program, the larger the community, the larger the community, there's more people helping each other. And when there's more people helping each other, there's more results. Now on top of that, every time a new student joins, on the daily mastermind course, they'll have questions that have not been answered within the course. Or there have been questions that just have answered once or twice, but we haven't made it evident in the course. So every time someone asks the question for the first time, I answer that question and I put the answer into the course so that every new student is helping me update the course so that there's literally less and less holes every single time a student joins. And every single time a student joins, the course gets more and more bigger. Now on top of that, as you can see, we have a Q&A master sheet. Every time someone asks a question, we answer it. We put that question and answer into the question and answers. As you can see, this is 71 pages long, meaning that as more and more people join, this is just gonna get longer and longer and more and more questions are gonna be answered, more and more questions are gonna be asked, and eventually, this crazy network effect, I'll be able to just help thousands and thousands of people because our program becomes so powerful that it literally answers every single question that every person has. That's the power of the network effect and I'm so excited to share the network effect with you guys in today's video. So yeah, thank you so much for listening. That's the end of today's video. Let's go ahead and announce last week's winners for $1,000 worth of courses consulted because of me. The winners here, if you guys want to qualify or to do drop a comment below, follow me on Instagram, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll be picking the best comment every single video. Other than that, question of the day. Where else have you noticed the network effect exists? Let me know. The network effect literally happens everywhere with all the top companies. Let me know where you've seen it exist. I want to hear your thoughts. I want to see if you guys know any other companies. I know a bunch in my mind, but I'm going to let you guys discover them. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your support and effort to the channel. I want to say thank you. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.